Today we're going to be using the Mongoose Synthetic Wash Brush. These are a one inch, three quarter, and a half inch. Uh, when your brushes are new, they're stiff. Don't break them. What you want to do is put them in some water and just let them absorb the water and they become soft and it removes all that sizing in there that's just for shipping purposes only. So just let them sit in the water for just a minute and then they become very soft and pliable. So I'm going to do that to all of these. Uh, when you remove the caps that are on them, the clear caps, uh, don't try to put those back on. You just want to toss those in the trash or use them for another surface or another technique. So once you've uh, taken the sizing out, then what I'm doing is just blotting it on a paper towel to remove any excess water before I start my decoration. So you could use any of these three sizes to do this, depending on the size surface. I've got an eight by eight tile. I'm gonna use the three quarter inch. And what I'm working with is a greenware tile. And then I have some Colors for Earth products. Uh, these are a couple of different sizes. These are the Cerulean's uh, CC 151, 152, and 150. So these are uh, Cerulean, Light Cerulean, and Deep Cerulean. So what I'm going to do is create a wash out of these products to put in a background. So I'm just going to put a little bit of color. I'm going to, and this is just in a little paint well. It's called the bubble palette and I won't need much. You can put it on full strength, uh, but always shake your color before you use it. And then when you make a wash, what you want to do is put water in another area and then add the color to it. We're going to start from light to dark, so I'm going to pick up some of that. Uh, light cerulean, put it in the water, and just kind of mix it. Make sure you thoroughly get all of that color off of the brush, the bristles, and kind of mush it around. And then you can just come in here and uh, it. you could do this with any uh, type of product. It doesn't have to be on ceramics. Maybe you've got um, acrylics, oils, they work great for those. So any type of media that you uh, are using. So I've got some light cerulean on the piece. I'm not going to rinse my brush. I'm just going to pick up some of the cerulean, which is the middle color. Mix that up. Make sure it's completely mixed. Color is heavier than water, so it's going to fall to the bottom of that area that you're mixing. So make sure you constantly keep that mixed up as you're doing your application. So I'm just going to kind of fill in some areas with that color. So these are all like overlapping each other. And then I'm going to go into the deep cerulean, which is a really dark color compared to the other two. So you won't need as much on your brush and added to your water. It won't take much to color it. So this is just a hit and miss. So this is a great way to add a background to things. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. Now, to really see what you've got, I take a small mister bottle and then I just kind of miss that whole thing and that will give you a better idea of what you've got going on there. So you may or may not like that. It just kind of depends and you can come back because it's on greenware, um, you know, and you can soften edges and kind of blend that out let's say that I wanted this darker than it was. So I could actually go into the color directly and don't worry about thinning it. And you can add, maybe this is that lighter color 
So maybe I wanted that color just a little bit darker. I'm going to get a little bit more. And these can overlap because every layer of color that you apply is going to darken that area in value. Okay, as my brush is starting to dry, I'm going to dip just a little bit into water. And now I'm going to go into that middle one. And I'm going to do the same. Just kind of add it here and there. Now, I'm not going to go directly into the darker one. I'm going to go back into that wash and just add some of that again. Okay, so like you said, you can just do some simple backgrounds. If you don't like an area, just take a damp brush and water and you can soften those edges if it looks too harsh but I think this will be great uh, for a background you can fire this to bisque and then come back you could stamp on it uh, you could do brush strokes you could do carving there's tons of different things that you could do so again these are the mongoose synthetic washes this is series 8700, and this was the three-quarter inch. So they have three different sizes, one inch, half inch, and the three-quarter. So it's a little stiffer uh, than, say, a sable, but it also allows you to create some texture on the piece. You could even dry brush with this. Uh, you could float color. Uh, let's, let's float some color while we're doing this. So if I wanted my edges to be darker, when you float color, you're going to water load, drag off to get rid of the excess water. Make sure that that brush is definitely clean. Drag, drag. And then what I like to do is keep the writing of the brush towards me and I'm gonna corner load so that I have a little bit, say a third, no more than a third of the brush. And then I'm gonna blend on my palette quickly, flip it over, color next to color, and blend. So if I wanted to go in and shade, say the outer edge of this, I would start up here at the top, press down, and pull along that edge. And then I'm gonna go back using the other side of the brush. So you can kind of see that there's a shadow We've got, I've got one area here that um, there's a dip in this particular tile, so it didn't grab there. Rinse that color out, same thing. Drag off to remove the excess water, writing of the brush towards you. Corner load. Blend on your palette. Blend. And then I'm going to turn my piece. And I'm going to come down this side. And then I flipped my brush over and I'm going to go back. Again, clean that brush, pull out the excess water riding towards me, corner load, no more than a third, blend, and you blend quickly so that. Um, your product doesn't start drying, your water doesn't evaporate. Pressure all the way down on the bristles. Now as I got to the end, I tend to run out. This is a large area. So I just grabbed what was on my palette there where I was blending. And I'm going to rinse this brush. If you don't have enough product, enough moisture, you may not be able to go the full length of the area you're trying to do. So I usually go one direction and then come back and go the other direction. That way you don't have a start and stop point on 
um, your area, the edge in this case. Constantly rinse, riding the brush towards, looking up towards me. Blend, blend, and start at that corner. Come down, I'm gonna flip it over, and just run back across it real quick. Okay, so that's a way to frame an area or your piece. You could do the sides uh, doing the same thing. So consider the Mongoose Synthetic Wash 3 quarter inch uh, to do some background techniques. Thanks for joining me.